Hello everyone, my name is Heather Paulding and I'm a spirit animal medium, which means I'm able to discern other people's animal guides or spirit animal guides. So the question that we have today is that, can you have more than one? The short answer is yes. The more convoluted answer is as follows. So number one, you have typically one or two main guides that stay with you for life, okay? They're with you always. And then you have temporary guides that come in. So temporary guides are just that. They're temporary, they're here for the short duration, they're here for a season, they're here for a cycle, they're here for a lesson, they're here, here for healing, they're here for growth, they're here for relationships, they're here for a thing, and they're for a short, duration or shorter duration um not with you for the duration of your your life or, or your reality here um do spirit animals can you choose your spirit animal i get that question occasionally and my answer to that is no i don't believe that you can choose your guide spirit has all the necessary information at their disposal and they choose what guide is best for you during a certain time period in your life. So you do not get to choose, it is chosen for you. They come in as, like I said, as necessary and for your highest good. I did a, a brief meditation today, like very brief, like less than 10 minutes. And I had eight animals come through and I felt, felt a little overwhelmed. So bee, butterfly, elephant, dragonfly, dragon, dolphin, llama, and cobra all came through. But what was interesting about this list is that bee and elephant have been coming up more frequently for me. Bee, we've been finding bees all over the house. I have to be honest that uh, we live in an old house. I was like, maybe there's a nest somewhere, but there was like one bee that I found dead in our bedroom. And then there was other bees in our son's bedroom. And like, I was like, where are all these bees coming from? And then I had a dream about bees. So bee is really trying to um, get my attention. So repetition. So I looked up bee symbolism. I mean, I know a little bit about what bee means, but I wanted to see if something really resonated with me and something did. So focused work, staying on task. And let me tell you, I really need that right now. I'm in the process of writing a book, 25, it's uh, called Pathfinder. 25 spirit animal lessons for your healing journey and I really need to stay on task and to achieve some focused work in order to get this book done elephant now I saw elephant with water and so water tells me we're dealing with emotions here so when I saw elephant with the water, I thought managing my emotions because with writing the book, there's a lot of past emotions that are coming up and helping me to manage these emotions as I have to relive them or as they resurface for me. So take managing my emotions from the past in the present. So that's, that's basically it. So let's re go over let's go over it again um rehash it so one main one or two main guides are with you for life and then you have temporary guides that can come in as um as necessary depending on what's going on in your life what lessons cycles healing growth all of that for your highest good so depending on what's going on in your life temporary guides will come in for a short duration. And that's about it. If you have any questions, um, comments, um, positive comments only, um, please drop them in the comments below. And um, if you have time 
and, or if you're interested, follow me on TikTok at Heather Paulding. I do free spirit animal readings every Monday, so make sure to follow along. Blessings on your journey and have a wonderful, wonderful Sunday.